Ano ko dahil sir? Pak. Pwede ko rin sana yun sa habitat nila. Isa sa mga practical importance ng crocodiles is that unang-una siyempre as to other predators, ipuli ang prey nila yung mga hihina. Kasi mas madaling hulihin yan eh. May hihina or mga may sakit. So, Um, it's nature's way of disposing. Uh, another uh, importance of crocodile is that in the, uh, in the ecosystem or in the habitat they're in, for example, a specific stretch of river or a creek, for example, for Because the movement nila prevents the overgrowth of plants that will eventually choke the, the water system. So, nakiklear yun. So, nakicheck yun na And then yung kanilang excrement naman eh, rich in nitrogen kasi predator na kami so it's very rich in nitrogen that it becomes a fertilizer for the plants naman na kinakain naman ng isda there's a study for example in South America yung rivers na nawala na yung mga crocodiles na hindi siya pang pili yung crocodiles hindi degrees din yun certain species of fish so dependent sila sila sa dogma so yun yung isang important for Ang focus kasi namin si Ibi Crocodile although we also do conservation for the South Water Crocodile but the Philippine Crocodile and then the Crocodile so ang region is one of them yun na ang focus namin nga kasi ang region is yun eh hindi mo na nakikita sa ibang bansa yun dito na sa Philippines so Right now, there's probably around 100 to 150 left in the wild. So, one million of us in the wild, and that's it. So, no one has said that. They've been here for millions of years. So, yun, it's a matter of heritage. It's a matter of heritage. And pangalawa, the conservation of crocodiles is not just the conservation of the species itself. So the conservation of a particular species means conserving their habitat, means conserving the environment surrounding the habitat. It boils down to human survival because eventually you will be preserving or you will be conserving the whole ecosystem that will have the resources So the conservation for us, the amen, the part of the for the whole time, pero on the bigger picture, it's really ano, a conservation of our natural resources. Both of them, it's for our own survival there. For example, the crocodile is a very good indication of the health of the river system. Mula na yung crocodile, there, mula na isda. Mula na rin makain, sila na yung habitat mo. It's para indicator. So, yun ang problem na na na-encounter sa crocodile. That, siyempre, pag nawala na yan, may susunod-sunod na ibang species. Since sila yung pinakamatatag doon, wala na sila, wala na rin. Part of still part of conservation is a what we call sustainable utilization. The wildlife is considered as also as parang trees din yan eh, sa nature. Na pwede natin gamitin sa tama na hindi sila na we are not engaged in crocodile farming. Farming the saltwater crocodile, not the, the Philippine crocodile, kasi critically endangered the Philippine crocodile. So we are farming the saltwater crocodile so that we generate that technology and that we can develop it sustainable industry for the country, which is export based land earning. So in a way, we have to do economy. Kasi ganyan ang industry sa crocodile farming eh, worldwide. You do business, pero may conservation counterpart yun. So laging involved ang conservation. Yun yung isang aspeto at that's a free analysis na very tangible. Kasi pwede natin pakinabawin yan. Bacterial, fungal, and viral infections. We have that. Lalo na yung mga very susceptible yung hatchlings. Pero pagkano nag-a-restore nila sila, they're able to fight out infections. So kahit malaking sulat sila, isa na makita kayo rin sa wild. Very active to occur with one and one leg busy. Dito sa Philippines, 
kami bilang sa national level sa amin nasa stage pa lang kami survey historical component habitats and determining the status so once na complete namin yun we will be able to propose measures specifically to address the population problem in specific areas hindi naman ang solution for example sa lahat is nag-release ka ng buhay So we call that an insurance population. So, kumbaga, kung ano man na mangyari, at least meron tayong malaking captivity na na pwede natin gamitin for release. Kumbaga, kung ano na protected area talaga na well protected, pwede natin siya yung release. Doon natin mo muli dyan. There's a bagong batas nga na named the Wildlife Act. Bagong batas nga. Essentially, pinagpapawal niya ang bagong uli, pagkatay, pag-aalaga sa kahit anong mga buhay ginawa sa buhay na ito. Pero, not unless for example, tumiligay sa amin na kasi yung farm namin talagang legal but not the Philippines. So, I'm going to call that right now. sentimental reasons but yun nga, looking at it on the broader scope bottom line talaga nga without these natural resources without trees, without the animals without supports like a system without the plants that supports the ecosystem without the rivers wala tayong pagkakulang the human population will collapse just look at your house most of the things you find in your house comes either sa bulo, sa forest, even our medicines. Bahay natin ito, binubukal na ito kaya ng cemento. So, yung mga things, yung mga things, yung mga things, so this is not really concerned with just one animal. Sa amin, we use the Philippine Doctor as a flagship species for broader conservation reasons. Looking at the situation right now, we really have to work hard. It's a long way. Lalo na gumadami ang population natin ang dito. Let's face it, we need a lot of resources. We need a lot of land areas. But talaga masasacrifice. Not unless we teach this generation to live to hindi consumptive. It is based on their condition in the wild. Even if you have a million in the wild, if you have none in the wild, there's still a thing. 